I'm here, you here, we here. It's the end of the year. We chilling. The game on. Coming to you. Top 10 of the year. No debates. No discussion. Don't be in the comment section talking about, ah, oh, you ain't pay. I don't want to hear nothing. They're not just Jordan's top 10 of the year. And I already know my number one shoe is going to blow your mind. But again, these are my top 10 shoes I wanted. The shoes I just, I have bought a lot of shoes this year too. So this is, as I look down, they, this, this is pretty serious. And it's a, a couple of shoes y'all might have on y'all list that I don't have on mine. That's because they be different collectors. I'm a, I'm a collector of 80s, 90s. I get the Jordans too. Well, OGs and I love my folds. But hey, let's get into it. <sighs> Start from number 10. We got the Nike Air Ups. Penny Hardaway Edition. Clean shoe. Found this shoe in Atlanta. Had to get it when I seen it. I blew a gasket. Perfect 90s shoe. That's 10 right there. Number nine. When it came out, told my girl, I'm getting them. Got a hat up, straight up. The Grand Hills. Classic shoe. Buttercream, baby. 25th anniversary ones at that. I got the other ones in the back too, but when the 25th came out, I had to get these. Then I wore them, yeah, I wore them too. Wear your shoes. That's nine. Number eight. When this shoe came out, we was we was out of town somewhere. And I said, oh, baby, they did that, 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 that. And long story short, the Shack Attacks, OG. I told y'all, from 90s, 80s, 80s, 90s, retro. I love the retro. I'm not a hype beast. I love what I love. When these came out, me and my girl, we both had to have them. I mean, here we go. Number seven. Concepts. I think these are the Woodstocks. I wear them. Nike Concepts. That's number seven. Number six. Knees drop. I said, well, I ain't never had them in my life. Playoffs. Had to get them. They was a must have, a must cop. My girl was in Dubai. And she picked these up. These was her first J's. These right here. Love me. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Number five, four, three, two, and one. I really had a hard time. But again, just me being, you know, OG and a lot of these shoes I, I never had in my life. But with this one right here, this was almost a sneaker of the year if these other shoes didn't come out. For me. The I'm on year two. I still haven't worn nothing. This is how they came laced. The inside of them, the bottom of them, they just ooze this. I don't, I don't even know what to wear with them. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I haven't worn them yet. All right. Now from here on up, four, three, two, one. Uh, shoes that when I was a kid I wanted and you know 
you know, your, you, you don't have the money. Your mom's and your daddy, you know, your people have the money. So, you know, my mom bought me other shoes and other things with it. But if I could have bought what I wanted, Buy your red threes. I mean, who didn't get them? If you, I'm 43. So if you was 43, most of these shoes I just shown were shoes you grew up on. Shoes you wanted. Shoes you went, mama, 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 please get me. And if you got them, you got them. If you didn't, you got them now. Congratulations. Buy your red threes. My third shoe. I had to have. They recently just came out. I'm talking about like the other day. But it doesn't matter when they came out. I I I, I knew I wasn't gonna get them, but I asked my mom anyway. She said no. And I ended up getting some like <laughs> Reeboks or whatever she bought me. But anyway. The Jordan 2. And I'm gonna say this about this shoe. The reason why I like this shoe, it's no jort man on it. It's no jump man on it. It's no Nike check on it. It's just Nike and the Air Jordan wing. And it's just a, a nice shoe. And it's an ugly shoe. To me, this is the ugliest, freshest Jordan ever made. So if you can understand that, then you can understand that. But if you can't, then you can't. This is the ugliest freshest jordan ever to be made and this jordan right here every sneaker collector you should have this in your in your in your collection especially if you're a collector of jordans and i just wore mine today my grandbabies had a um birthday party they turned one today so shout out to my grandbabies mercedes and miracle this is my number two shoe and when this shoe came out, I had to get it for one because I never had it. And out of all the shoes that Jordan came out with, I wanted this shoe. But I never wanted like none of the other ones. But I always just wanted this particular one. Number the Jordan one lost a thousand. Yeah. These pop, I looked at my girl. And like, I told her I need these so bad. And she was tired of hearing that. But <laughs> it was another sad song. I said, baby, I need these. And she felt my pain and she know how I feel about my Jordans and a lot of, a lot of my other shoes too. So she didn't, she didn't give me much gripe. She let me get them. Thank you, baby. But yeah, these right here. And my number one shoe, a shoe that when these shoes came out, this was the first shoe I drew it over. This was the first shoe that I went to the store, tried the shoe on, no, I wasn't getting them. And I did that like three or four times because I wanted these shoes so bad. Like I begged my mother for these shoes and she didn't buy them for me. And I knew she wasn't going to get them, but... Like this is a shoe that this was my grail shoe. So when they when it when this shoe came back out again, I had to grab it. Like I literally, 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 literally had to grab it. I had to grab it so much. So I bought one, two, three, I think I got four pair of them. And that's my Bo Jackson's. I wouldn't give a diggly wiggly. These shoes right here. When these came out back in the day, boy, these set the trend. These set the tone. And sometimes when I wear them, I just can't believe that I actually, actually, actually got them. That's how much, like, I really wanted these Bo Jacksons. And I wear them. I just wore them the other day just because I felt like I need to wear the Bo Jacksons. Like, I need to put these on my feet. This is the type of shoe that 
I just love. And as you can see, all my top tens, I gave y'all a variety of shoes, not just Jordans. I gave y'all general releases. I didn't do any like hype shoe. The only the only hype shoe I have up here it is Armand um, Minier. So other than that, I gave y'all to me a real just a sh shoe man's collection. You know what I'm saying? Of uh, from old to the new. You know what I'm saying? Hope you enjoyed it. You know what I'm saying? This your boy, not Leroy, and the producer. And I'm out.